Hi there, and welcome to my Wheel Thrown Pottery Series. And in this video, we are finally going to centre the clay. Now, as you can see, we've already combed this piece of clay. It's running reasonably central. It's not perfect. You can see it's just moving in and out a little there. So how do we get this coned piece of clay into a nice, completely central puck shape? Well, we're going to be using the area just at the bottom of our thumb, the bottom of the palm, to push in to the clay. And what we want to try to do is to lock that hand in position. We don't want the clay pushing our hand out. We, we want to push pressure on the clay and keep that hand firmly in position. Now, as you look down on the wheel, we'll be in about the, uh, between the three o'clock and the six o'clock. So it's like a, a sort of triangular shape we're trying to form. With our other hand, we'll be using the edge of our hand here to push down on the clay, to straight down on the top. Now we want to get this clay very wet, so we don't want any stickiness at all. Yeah, we'll get that very wet. So just you actually hold the sponge in your hand. And the other thing we want to try and avoid is, is this, sometimes you get a ridge of clay just build up on the bottom there, just remove that, get rid of it. Because you want your hand to be down firmly on the wheel. If it, if it starts to ride up on that ridge of clay, you're going to have to try and control it in a vertical direction as well. There's enough um, going on, just stopping the move, movement sideways. So we run the, uh, the wheel as fast as it will go, pedal to the metal. We lock our hand in, arm in our body onto the side of the tray there so that we don't get any movement. And we take the other hand with the sponge in, put lots of water on it and we push down into that hand. And we keep going, keep going, pushing hard into the hand until we As you can see, when I hold my finger here, there's no movement between the clay and my finger. That gap remains constant as it goes around. And that's what we're aiming for. Now obviously to get this stage takes quite a lot of practice. So what I'd suggest you do is cone it back up again. So, put hands on, fix to the wheel again, push them together, so they take that clay back up into a cone shape. So they take away that ramp again, and then maybe just push the clay out, and then repeat the process of taking again. So, so we're putting our hand down onto the wheel, locking it into our body, plenty of water, the other hand pushes down, forces that clay down. And what we don't want to do is that. And as you can see, I'm moving my hand away quickly, I've really pulled that completely out of centre. So when you remove your hand from the clay, you want to make sure that you do it slowly. So I'll comb that back up again. Remove the ramp of clay at the bottom. Knock it out. Plenty of water in the sponge lock my hand in onto the wheel, into my body, take my other hand, push down into the clay as fast as we can go. And then when we think that we've pretty much got it centered, take our hand away really slowly. And we end up 
back with that. Perfectly centered piece of clay. So as you can see, that gap should remain the same. If you hold your finger steady, it should remain the same as the clay rotates. So that's centering. Thanks for watching.